we're doing in the Red Sea Decade Expedition is bold. It has not been done before. To me, it's the same as space exploration, but it's right at your doorstep. And right below is a completely unknown world. The Red Sea is 1,700 kilometers long. This is a massive, massive undertaking. When we built Ocean Explorer, we, we had these kind of missions in mind. And Ocean Explorer really excels at having large numbers of studies simultaneously, so we can have scuba diving happening while we're having an RV down at 6,000 meters, two submersibles down while we have a helicopter in the air. We are here to tell the world and to tell the next generations that the Red Sea has this biodiversity, the Red Sea has these problems. You need to have a baseline to understand what you have. We try to find out how to rehabilitate all those very sensitive ecosystems and keep it healthy for a long time. We have to be here, we have to do this. When we started this project, a lot of us didn't understand the Red Sea very well. We thought of it as another large body of water, but it turns out that the Red Sea is actually a very unique environment. It's very warm all the way to the bottom, and that's where the Earth is headed with all of the changes that are happening, anthropogenic changes. So what we're looking at here is essentially the future state of a large part of the world. And oddly enough, animals have evolved to live in this place, and they've evolved to flourish. It gives hope to some degree that as the rest of the world heats up, flora and fauna of the ocean will be able to survive or will still flourish when temperatures are raised. There's been this very big change within the mindset of the leaders that really want to see a focus on the marine ecosystems and this expedition is doing just that. That's one of the reasons why this is so timely. The culture of collaborating and working together is going to leave a legacy that is going to enable us to address many other challenges. It's a huge opportunity to lift the state of marine research and also conservation in the Red Sea. Understanding the world around us is something we need to have as an essential goal for us and for our children. You know, I'm learning. I'm learning from these organisms. They adapt, they fight, they fight for their life in the sea. There are lots of changes happening to them. There are lots of changes happening to us. Our research that we are doing now can be in the biology classes tomorrow in our school. They'll be studying the information that we collect on this trip for the next 10 or 15 years. If we are not here to do this work, who else 